DUI arrest. A man is accused of driving drunk in Portsmouth nearly 30 years after he was convicted of reckless driving. Michael Feria caused a crash that permanently altered the lives of this Middletown family. Their nine-year-old daughter was permanently injured, and her father says he was under the influence at the time of that crash. Eyewitness News reporter Susan Campbell joins us live in our newsroom with the details. Susan, the memory of that accident still remains fresh in the minds of the Coffey family, and now they say the driver who caused them so much pain shouldn't get another chance behind the wheel. He really slammed into us. It was a September night in 1983 when the Coffey family's lives were changed forever. He was coming down the road this fast, and then he started coming, and I just said, oh no, he's going to hit us. And bang, he hit us. Neil Coffey's daughter, Meredith, nine years old at the time, suffered a permanent traumatic brain injury in the crash. Coffey says police told him the man who hit his family had a blood alcohol level of .215 at the time of the accident, later pleading guilty to driving to endanger. Now the same man, Michael Feria, is facing a DUI charge for another crash. But it's been 29 years almost since he hit my family and he hadn't said he's sorry yet. Someone like this should not be on the road. According to a police report obtained by Eyewitness News, Feria smashed into a parked car on Dexter Street in Portsmouth in July. Fortunately, nobody was injured in that accident. But Coffey says it could have been worse. And he says Rhode Island's DUI laws should be stricter. First offense, you lose your license for a year. And the second time, is, it's all over. Boom. So, you know, it's not baseball. You don't get three strikes. Two strikes. You're all done. I spoke with Michael Faria's attorney today. He declined to comment on the case because it's still pending. Faria is due back in court later this month. Reporting live in the newsroom, Susan Campbell, Eyewitness News.